Hey guys, welcome to sixth grade chapter seven, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So this one is actually gonna be super easy for you guys because it gives you a weird expression, a weird math problem, but then it gives you what the weird part is. So this one says that R is equal to 20. So I'm just gonna rewrite the problem of 20 and then it says minus nine. Well, I know that's 11, super easy guys, okay? Don't make it harder than it's gotta be, okay? So this one, the numbers aren't gonna change, okay? But we know that when there's a number next to a letter, it means multiply, so two times whatever that is. And it says that C is equal to seven. There we go, okay? So now we have to do our multiplication first, okay? So 17 minus two times seven is 14. So that one's three, okay? I'm not gonna make it any harder than it's gotta be. Okay, so, all right, this one has an exponent. It's going to be fun, right? So, 5 squared minus 4. It tells us B is 5, so I filled in 5 where it said B, okay? Well, 5 squared is 25, and if I subtract 4, I get 21, okay? You're gonna be okay, guys, I promise. Okay, so this one has the exponent outside of the bracket, okay? So I'm gonna fill in five where it says H, and then I'm gonna put that exponent up there, okay? Well, five minus three is two, and that's two squared. So two times two is four, okay? All right, we're going to do one more, okay? This one says x plus x squared, where x equals 6. So I have 6 plus 6 squared, okay? Well, I have to do the exponents first, okay? So it's going to be 6 plus 36, because 6 times 6 is 36. That is not 6 times 2. That is 6 times 6, okay? Well, 6 plus 36 is 42. Okay, so first we're going to fill in everywhere it says M, we're going to fill in a 12. Okay, so 12 plus, oops, I should have put a 2 there first, but in multiplication, you can do it either way. So just know that that would be two times 12 and I did 12 times two. So it's the same thing, plus three, okay? So now I need to do the multiplication first. So I still have 12, I'm still adding 12 times two is 24. I'm still adding three, okay? Well, 12 plus 24 is 36, plus three is 39. Okay. All right, guys, you guys are going to do 8 through 12. You totally can. I believe in you. You are brilliant. Okay. We're going to go down and it says the formula P equals 2L plus 2W gives the perimeter of a rectangular room with a length of L and a width of W. A rectangular living room is 26 feet long and 21 feet wide. Okay. So for long, Okay, it wants us to do two times 26. Boom, okay. We're gonna add that to two times 21, okay? Now, the reason they're multiplying is because each one of the long sides, when you draw a rectangle, there's two of them. So that means that this one is 26 and this one is 26 and it means this one is 21 and that one's 21, okay? So all they're doing is multiplying the two sides by two, each one of them separately, so that they can get how much, how much there are all together for each side, okay? So two times 26, well, that's gonna be 52, okay? And two times 21 is gonna be 42, okay? So when I add those two together, two plus two is four, 
and 5 plus 4 is 9, and that's going to be 10 feet. Okay? All right. The formula C equals 5 onto F minus 32 divided by 9 gives the Celsius temperature in C degrees for a Fahrenheit temperature of F degrees. What is the Celsius temperature for a Fahrenheit temperature of 122 degrees? So, 5, and it's giving us the Fahrenheit. Okay, all I did was plug in what it told me Fahrenheit was. The rest of it stayed the same, okay? Okay, so I still have 5. Instead of the parentheses, because I'm going to take care of the parentheses, I'm going to put a multiplication sign because that means 5 onto those, right? But we're going to just do this, okay? 122 minus 32 is going to give us 90, and we're going to divide that by 9. Okay, so we're done with our parentheses. We don't have any exponents. We're going to take care of our multiplication and division. Okay, so now 5 times 9 is 45, and then I'm going to add that 0 on, and we're going to divide that by 9. Okay, so 9 goes into 45 5 times, and then I'm going to add that 0 on. Sorry, guys, let's just be a zero. Okay, so 50 degrees, and you can just put Celsius. That tiny little circle up there, that's degrees, and the C is for Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, all right, y'all are going to go onto the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, because you're a genius. You can totally do this, okay? And we are going to go ahead and do the spiral review. Okay, so three quarters plus five six divided by two thirds. Okay, I'm gonna share something with you guys that you probably haven't heard before, okay? Your order of operations still applies to fractions, okay? So I still have to do this part first, okay? So I'm gonna have I'm not going to forget my three quarters, so I'm actually just going to move that down here to my next step. And then right here, I'm going to do five six. We keep, we change, and we flip. Okay. All right. I can't reduce anything by five, but I can do six and three. Well, three goes into three once, and it goes into six twice. So now I can multiply, and I would get five over four. Okay. All right, so the top is bigger than the bottom, but that's okay for our purposes right now. Okay, we'll fix it when we get to the final answer, promise, okay? All right, well, our denominators are already the same. That's kind of nice. Okay, so they stay the same all the way across. And then 3 plus 5 is 8, okay? So when we are doing this, the top cannot be bigger than the bottom. That's an improper fraction. So we need to know how many times will 4 go into 8? 2 times, and then I won't have any left over because 2 times 4 is 8, so our answer is 2. I know, all that work to not even get a fraction. Okay, ready? So now we're going to go to number 4. This Patricia scored 80% on a math test. She missed 4 problems. How many problems were on the math test? Well. 80% of blank. Mm. Oh, gotcha. So hold on just a second. Let me re re redo this. Okay. 4 is 80% of blank. Okay. Same thing. I just did it backwards. Okay. All right. So, we know that when we are multiplying with a percent in order to make it a fraction, we're going to put 0 0.80. The of means times, and then I have blank. Okay? Now, I need to get this alone so that I know what it is. Okay? Which means that I need to divide this side by 
eight, really, I don't have to use the zero. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, 0.8. Whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side, okay? So now I can't have a decimal outside of it, okay? And it would be 0.8, okay? But this one is going to be, okay, if I had a decimal on the four, it would be after the four. So I need to move it one time because I'm moving this one time, which gives me 40, okay? So now, eight's not gonna go into four, but it will go into 40, five times, five times eight is 40, subtract it zero, we're good. So, now, that means that your answer is not five, it is five times that four, sorry about that, five times that four, 20. Okay. Sorry, misleaded this backwards. I should have done the 20% there. Not that. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Let me do that one again and show you all again. Okay. So, four is. Okay, she got an 80, but that means that the other ones that she missed is 20. So I'm going to put 0 0.20 because that's 20% of blank. Okay, sorry about this one, guys. Totally botched it. Okay, so now in order to get this one alone, I need to divide this side by 20, 20 and this side by 0.20. Okay, I don't have to have that zero on there. Okay. So I'm going to move the decimal once, which means I need to move this decimal once, making it 40. So now I have 40 with a 2 outside. Okay. Well, 2 will go into 4. 2 times 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract it 0. Now, because I end in a 0 and I only have a 0 left, I can move that up. And there's my 20. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Ignore the first one. Okay. See, word problems get the best of me too sometimes. Okay. All right, so what is the value of seven to the third? Well, that means it's seven times seven times seven, okay? It is not seven times three, it is three sevens all multiplied together, okay? I know that seven times seven is 49 because that's one of my math facts. So now I'm just gonna do 49 times seven, okay? So seven times nine, 63, carry the six. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is going to be 34, 343. Okay, don't need a label on that. It's not giving us any words to work with, so don't need a label. James and his friends ordered B hamburgers that cost $4 each and fruit cups that cost $3 each. Write an algebraic expression for the total cost of their purchases. Well, their purchases would be... $4 for each burger plus $3 for each fruit cup. Done. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 7.5. Come on back for 7.6. See you soon.